In this video I'd like to show you how to build realistic looking bridges over relatively flat terrain. First I'm going to show you how not to do it. Okay, first you pick a spot where you want to build a bridge. And then your first instinct might be to put a log close to the shoreline. Then the next one... Oh, there's a snap point. As you can see, this doesn't look like a bridge. Remove this. Okay, so the best way to do this is you pick a spot and then you measure the width of the river at this point. And I know from having built previous bridges that this width will require two support logs in the water. I'm going to put the first one up here. Second one, but you see the game already snaps in a radius, but has the correct distance from the first log. And make sure this is one is make sure this line is perpendicular to the flowing direction of the river. Put this one up here. Okay, now this is a bit tall for the bridge that I want to build, so I'm going to cut it down. Then you can see here you have a 90 degree snap from this pole. Put the next one. And the next one like this. Okay, so this would already function as a extremely basic river crossing. Okay, now to build it parallel to that. So it snaps correctly. You this one like this. And then you have to find this spot up here. You have to look slightly above the endpoint. So it makes so it shows you this curve, then you click and see what happens. The game engine recognizes how tall this pole has to be so it matches the other one. Do the same for this side. Now we have to create the rest of the shape. Okay, now left to do is to fill out the bridge shape. Now, if you have one complete log in your hand like this, and you look between uh, the frame, now this, what this does, it cuts it in two and places it. So you don't have to manually cut each log and then put it in. It does it in one go. I said at the beginning of the video that I want to show you how to make realistic looking bridges. So now I'm going to show you a more realistic variant, where you have a bit more control over the way the bridge looks. And it's less dependent on the terrain you build at all. Yes. Now let's pick a spot that's a bit wider, like this one over here. Now as before, you measure the width of the river. It's probably going to require three logs in the water. Place the first one here. Next one, so again we have to watch, so it's perpendicular to the river direction. You can see here it snaps because it lines up to the other two. Put one on the... Maybe do that later. Okay, so now I have to decide how tall I want the bridge to be. Let's say I want this bridge to be... 
about three quarters of this over here. Let me cut up here. Okay, now again we take a normal sized log and similar as before, place one up here. You see, the game engine recognizes again what I'm trying to do, and it cuts it to the side. Might need this one later. Oh, wait, that's a full one. I can decide if I want to create a ramp up here or keep it longer. So I'm going to... I want to turn it into a ramp at this point. Let's say on this side, I want the ramp to be a bit smoother. Put this one up here. Then I'm cutting it down to the size. Now, first use up the logs on this side. Okay, now we one up here and this one up here you know this way I have more control over how I want it to taper off and it's less dependent on the terrain get most of the logs okay then we got one side of the bridge done I just have to put the parallel thing in, like this. Again, you have to look slightly above the point where you want to do it, so it does the curve up. Uh, will the game recognize that I want it to be this size? Let's see. Uh, it probably doesn't work like that. So first I have to place this one, and then I'm going, I'm going to manually cut it down. Also, you got to be careful that if you shorten these logs, notice here the icon looks like a three-quarter, and this one looks like a full one. You can't use the three-quarter ones for these operations. This one up here. I'm not sure if I should uh, fast forward these um, repetitive things or not to you. Let me know in the comments. Because I try to keep the videos as short as possible. Here, yeah, this one should be placed. I have a snapping problem here. Is this going to work? Yeah. Put this one first over here. Okay, now we get the basic skeletal shape of the bridge. Now comes the repetitive part where you Fill up the bridge interior. Okay, 
Okay, so I might have skipped a part of the video where I'm filling out the bridge interior with the half pieces. So, that is an almost complete, more complex bridge you can build off flat terrain. Now the advantage over the previous bridge is that, as I said before, you can have more control over the, the height of the bridge, even if the terrain is at different altitudes on, on both sides, even if it's uneven like this. And you can control how far you want to go beyond the shore with the bridge. Or oh, there's one further step, or I would call it two further steps to make it complete. Now, for more improved aesthetics, you uh, need to take a log like this. Cut it in two pieces, both of them. See if I can do it on this part. Probably not, I have to do it here. You can do as you go like this. And like this. And what you can do next is you can remove the central pillar like that. Oh, this is not a full one. <clears throat> You can, cannot remove this one because there's no support pillars on the side over here. So let's take this half one. Up here. There's a bug in the game engine, I think, or it's a flaw. That as long as you get one support on this line, you can remove the central one. However, for purposes of aesthetics, I'm going to complete this one. No, it's not a full one again. Actually, I can still cut it down to half size. Can I? Yeah, I can. This one. I think this looks nice, doesn't it? Now, if you wish, you can even further decorate it. Taking, for example, these uh, quarter pieces. And you can put them as sort of... So it looks slightly like a railing. Let's cut that down. Uh, where's the cup on this one? Oh, there it is. And this I think I should correct this piece over here. It actually fits here. Remove this one. See if we can squeeze this one in here again. Now, unfortunately, on this side it doesn't work. <clears throat> 